ladies. So, as I was talking about earlier, I'm going to start going over some basics with you. I have two different vehicles here. I have my Pontiac Grand Prix 06, and I also have my Lexus RX 300. So, two different makes and models of vehicles. Now, to pop the hood, I know this is gonna sound retarded, but some women don't know how. You gotta come in your vehicle and look for your, what's it even on there? Your, your pull trigger. I already pulled it on this vehicle and I already pulled it on that one. But <clears throat> another problem that I know is difficult is actually getting into them. <clears throat> There's usually a little lever that you pull down underneath here to open your vehicle <clears throat> or open your hood. <clears throat> and of course, when checking your oil, you're going to want to bring a paper towel or whatever you have handy. Now this vehicle is broke down, so I have no idea what the oil is going to look like. But this is a 3800 V6 supercharged engine. So, my dipstick is right here. And I cannot even see if you can see it, but it's, they're usually yellow, okay? So you pull it out, okay, and then you're going to wipe it off automatically. And I need to find a good place to put you. There we go, that looks good. Okay, so I'm putting it back in. Okay, and I can tell you that this oil is dark as fuck so this would definitely needs an oil change so you pull it out and you look at it i don't know if you can tell how dark and nasty that is but it is close to the fill line this one has the four dots on it and it was all the way up here but i don't know if you saw how dirty that was but it was pretty damn nasty. Now to add the oil, you would add it right here in this little spot. You would open it up. Sometimes they're a pain in the ass. Which I can't, because who knows what my boyfriend actually, how hard he actually screwed that shit in there. But it's possible. You just gotta put a little bit more oomph into it and I really don't feel like it right at this moment, so sorry ladies. But here's my Lexus. And again, I'm looking for that tab, which is right down there. And I don't think it got all the way pulled. There we go. Alright, so. One left. Alright, again, it's the yellow thing. Okay. So, and I just drove this one not too long ago, so it's still. So I'm going to pull it out and wipe it automatically. I'm going to stick it right back down in there. And honestly, I don't even know if this does need oil. I just added some to it. But it does not. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. But it is good and it is not very dirty either. So it would not need any oil added to it. 
unfortunately, part of my thing is broken. The cap to add it, so it's a pain in the butt to actually get this one open. Most vehicles um, take a 5W30. Um, there's some other places where it's located and you can look it up as well. I think also on the side of your door, you can find where, it, how, what kind of oil it's t it takes. Um, I mean, while you're under here, you could check other things out too, but that would be for another time. But I hope that actually helped show you how to check the oil in a vehicle. Um, I wish I actually had maybe two other vehicles to show you to how to check the oil in different vehicles but you get the general idea if you do have any questions or comments or anything I would really love to start hearing from people I mean this is only my second video so I'm not expecting a lot but I do think it's important that women are educated more on vehicles um, it's definitely became a passion of mine. So I am going to go 